now that it's been downloaded, we're going to go to our downloads folder. Open the file. Double click on it. It should then mount it and open it. Double click on the package installer. Follow the prompts. Install. Type in your password. Go ahead and hit close. Tell it to keep it for right now. Next, you want to go to System Preferences and Printers and Scanners. And we're going to add a new printer. And you'll need to know the IP address of the machine. You can get this by printing the status page. And switch this to LPD and type in the address. Upon typing in the address, it should auto pick the driver down here for you. If it doesn't, you'll need to reboot your Mac. In my case, it picked it up. We're going to name it whatever you want. In this video, I'm just going to call it Kiosera Job Accounting and click Add. It will ask you to configure it with whatever paper feed options it might have. And the finisher and options. Hit OK. And it's now been created. Now let's set up job accounting. If you don't have job accounting, you're good to go as of right now and can print immediately. So we're going to use Safari. It doesn't matter, any application you can print out, you can use this to set it up. We're going to go File Print. And on Mac, you cannot set defaults, so what you have to do is set presets. So what we're going to do is hit the down arrow here, and go down to a job account. We're going to put the check marks in the job accounting box. Type in the job accounting code you want to use. And what we're going to do is save the current settings as a preset and call it job accounting. And hit OK. So when we want to print using job accounting, we'll use the preset job accounting. Now you might also want to do things like go into imaging and set it to full set it to black and white instead of full color to save on cost. And again, you can save that as a current preset and overwrite your existing. So now it's black and white with job accounting turned on. And now we can print and this print job will be associated